Hey everybody, did you know that there are electric assist bikes? Um, I didn't until one showed up at my door for me to test. It's a pedal assist system uh, on a bike by Amazing Bikes. Uh, it's called the Daedalus. Daedalus. Daedalus? Daedalus. That's what it is. Anyway, check it out. It's really, really cool. Evidently, these are really popular in Asia, but I'll bet they're going to make a big splash in America too. Check it out. So this is the bike. It's called the Daedalus. It's a hybrid cruiser commuter road bike. It's actually got a good looking aluminum frame. Pretty sturdy too, and this one's black. Um, it also has a pedal assist system, which actually adds power to your pedal stroke when you need it. Um, as you can see, it's got a battery, which uh, powers a tiny motor in the rear hub. Uh, actually, let's take it for a spin. The bike itself rides super smooth. It's really set up for commuting or pleasure riding. I took a few test rides on the Greenbelt and I commuted to work over 10 miles each way a handful of times. You notice the power assist most when either starting from a stop or pulling up a moderate hill. It literally drops the watts and makes it much easier to pedal. It's basically a super simple single speed bike, but the pedal assist is the ingenious part. Their website really outlines all the details of the science, but here's basically how it works. A little sensor in the rear hub detects the torque from your pedal stroke. Essentially, the harder it is to pedal, the higher your torque. Then it uses the lithium ion battery to power a 250 watt brushless motor in the rear hub, applying power to your strokes. This model had three different power assist settings, basically low, medium, and high, and they accordingly take different amounts of power from the battery. I liked the high. It was a lot easier. The battery lasts forever. I charged it in December and then actually didn't ride it until March. Uh, super simple. You just plug uh, the power adapter into the battery and it will charge. You can even take it off the bike to do it. I would recommend a bike like this to anybody who likes to commute but sometimes needs a little bit of help. Also recreational riders would enjoy it as well. I would have liked to try to pull a kid carrier behind it because I think that would be incredibly cool. Bike specs and specifics can be found in the details of this video. Also check out their website because it's pretty cool. Thanks to eMazing for letting me demo this bike. It was really a lot of fun. Hey, thanks for watching as always. If you want to see me build this bike in time lapse, um, you'll find it right there. If you want to see one of my cool race videos, check out down below or over there. Thanks for watching and as always, please subscribe.